This is what's new in iOS 11.3. I'm Josh Smith, gotabemobile.com, gonna show you the new Animojis and other new iOS 11.3 features that are coming in spring 2018 and are available right now in a developer beta. Apple adds four new Animoji to iOS 11.3. We have the lion, which you see here, we have a dragon, we have a skull, and we have a bear. These join the 12 original Animoji and they're only available on the iPhone 10, but you can send them to other devices. We've seen a lot of cool AR apps with iOS 11, and now with ARKit 11.5, we're gonna see new features. For example, it's gonna be able to detect a wall and a door, and it can also interact with things like 2D posters, so that you're gonna be able to, say in this instance, pull this lander over here and make it into an AR object. This is something that developers will be able to add into their existing AR kit apps. Apple's making a really big push to integrate health records into the health app. So not only will you be able to keep all the stuff that you collect from say an Apple Watch or another device, but you're gonna be able to connect into patient portals and patient charts that are available at certain hospitals. At the start, there's only gonna be about a dozen hospitals that connect to this, but when it happens, you'll be able to pull in all kinds of your records into the health apps. So you're gonna be able to integrate them and pull them up easily. What this means to you is you're gonna be able to see what a specific institution sees on you. In this case, we have their allergies, you can get notifications for medications, you can get notifications when lab results are in, and it's a really cool way to bring your medical life all into one place. It's encrypted and password protected. Another interesting feature in iOS 11.3 is business chat. This is gonna launch with just a few companies built in to start, such as Lowe's, Discover, Hilton, and Wells Fargo, and it's basically customer service inside an app that lives in messages next to you know apple pay and emoji and all these other messages apps that you have in this case you're going to be able to schedule a service appointment if you need something repaired at home or you can get shopping advice in this case finding the perfect smart lock and then you can buy it right from that app one of the benefits to this is instead of giving your phone number to a local business or something like that, you're anonymized. So if you wanna end the chat anytime you can, you're not gonna get high pressure sales pitches back to you or phone calls related to what you're doing inside of a business chat. This feature is gonna launch with four and we expect to see other businesses join in in the near future. There's been a lot of talk lately about Apple slowing down older iPhones to prevent unexpected shutdowns. With iOS 11.3, you're able to go into battery and on this screen, you'll see your battery's health and information on if it, you should get it replaced. And you'll also be able to turn off this throttling that Apple's doing to prevent unexpected shutdowns. So with that, you'll get faster performance but the trade-off is you may end up getting unexpected shutdowns due to your battery overheating or dying. So this is an area where you'll need to make a decision if which you value more, and if you want to get your battery replaced, Apple's running a $29 battery replacement program right now, and that might be an option you want. You'll see options in here when the iOS 11.3 update arrives, or regular users later this year. If you like music videos, Apple Music wants to be your new go-to location instead of YouTube. So they're gonna start incorporating music videos bigger into the app and you'll be able to find them from your favorite artists and see others, other artists, other videos you might like. And their goal here is really to become your one-stop shop for music and music videos. In addition to seeing videos more prominently in the app, you'll also see a new video section. When you come into the app, you're gonna see videos featured much more prominently. And hopefully, Apple says we're gonna see a better top stories feature. Right now with HomeKit, if you wanna upgrade something, you typically need to buy a hub or a bridge or something like that. With iOS 11.3, you're gonna be able to use HomeKit authentication. And basically that's gonna allow accessories to be added to HomeKit without a device update or a new device. We're still waiting to learn more about what that will actually mean to you, the end user, but it sounds promising, especially if you like to use scenes and routines inside of Apple HomeKit. We've been using the emergency SOS feature in iOS 11 for a while now, but there's a new feature when you call 911, it's gonna be able to use some advanced tools and if your country supports it, it'll be able to send your precise location including GPS information to 911 when you call. This will also work in other countries. We don't have a full list of the countries, but it's a huge step forward into getting emergency services 
directly where you need them to be when you have an emergency. Originally announced for iOS 11, Messages in iCloud is finally here. It's in the first iOS 11.3 beta. Apple didn't mention it as one of the new features in their preview, but it looks like we'll be able to turn that on. And basically what this means is your messages will be synced into iCloud and across all of your devices. That way everything's gonna be where you want them to be and you don't have to worry about maybe one thing's deleted one place and not the other, or you're, there's a message that's only on one of your devices. So it should keep everything in sync and easily accessible.